you guys doing today? Good, how are you, sir? Good. Just gonna grab a seat right here. Alright, thank you. Alright, hello, good evening. Um, my name is Alex Komar. You refer me simply as Alex. Uh, what are your guys' names and how would you like to be addressed? Uh, my name is David Michael Hardy. Uh, you can call me David. Okay. I'm Kevin Anderson. Kevin Anderson. Alright. Um, how are you guys doing today? Excited for spring break? Yeah, you know, I'm doing good. I'm pretty excited. I mean, you know, I'm just going down to uh, Virginia Beach with my family. That'd be a lot of fun. Virginia uh, Beach? Nice. Yeah, I mean, got a lot of things planned. Paris family, stuff like that. I'm swimming with the dolphins. Okay. The aquarium. Yeah, that'd be a fun time. Kevin? Yeah, I'm excited. I ain't people at Panama City for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah, that'll be fun. Alright, what are you going to do there? College stuff, huh? College stuff, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you're not familiar with this area, uh, restroom is located outside and to your left. Um, seating and lighting seem okay? Uh, works for me. Yeah, not really enough people to dial in. Yeah, just two seats. All right. Uh, you guys comfortable with the temperature? Yeah. Yeah. Um, anything else you want me to address before uh, we begin the process? Might make you feel more comfortable? Okay. Uh, no, I just want to talk about how comfortable the seats are. I really like them. Good. All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what they're there for. So. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, by now, I'm assuming that you may be interested in um, what qualifies me to run you through this mediation process. Um, I studied mediation law uh, for eight years and finally received my PhD at Yale University. Um, over that time period, I accumulated the hours needed to become certified by the state of Illinois. Uh, today, I'm here to serve you. Um, are you both f f familiar with how the process of mediation works? No, actually, I'm not. They just no? kind of suggested it, and I was just like, sure, why not? Whatever, All right. whatever. If it can help, it can help. Yeah. So, well. medi mediation is negotiation with the assistance of a neutral third party, which in this instance is me. Um, I'm here to help you guys negotiate. Uh, I cannot and will not make decisions regarding this dispute. However, I will offer suggestions for ways um, that can help you resolve it. Um, if at any point during mediation we hit a standstill, um, you know, we're not making much progress, I can call for a caucus, which is um, private meetings between, um, you know, myself and you, and myself and you. Um, you know, maybe sometimes those are used um, if you guys aren't saying what you want to say in front of the other one. Um, you know, the caucus can kind of help get the talks going. Um, so you have three basic rights um, or entitlements during this process. Uh, the first is confidentiality. Um, Nothing you say during this mediation will leave uh, this room. Um, you can be assured that everything you say here is safe. Um, and then the second right is that this is a voluntary process. You know, no one's forcing you to be here. Um, you know, I'm not forcing you to be here. If you guys want to leave, you are open to that. However, I'm assuming you're here because you want to make the situation better that you're in. Um, and then lastly, um, I can assure neutrality from my part. So I'm not here to take sides. I'm just here to help you guys reach a you know mutually acceptable. Um, agreement. Um, I'm not showing no favoritism, you know, no bias. Um, I'm just here to help you guys, to serve you guys, um, you know, make your living situation a little bit better. So, um, I think before we start, we should run over a few guidelines. Um, before I mention any, do you guys have any that maybe um, you feel would be necessary as we go throughout the mediation? I mean, I just would you know, like to be respected, you know, not be interrupted. Um, yeah. I figured you probably like the same thing. Yeah, it's not like it's not one person talking at a time. Yeah. You know, we're like give each other space to know each other. Yeah. Because it won't be one word, we're not civil. Keep the tone down as much as possible. So I would say, you know, just in general, be respectful. Yeah. Um, no interrupting. Yeah. I'd appreciate it if um, our phones could be silenced. Okay, I'm so not, I'm, I'm no not, electronics. Yeah, I don't know how much of your girlfriend you think you have. Um, so be respectful, no interrupting, uh, no electronics. You think those those are those three you both agree with? Um, all right. So for my part, um, you know, I had to be respectful as well. Um, I also had no electronics, and then um, I just said, um, you know, I expect you guys full. Attention when you're here, um, you know it's not gonna do you guys any good if you're here, um, you know, not to try to solve the dispute. So I'd say, you know, um, 
I see you just um, full attention and uh, take it seriously. Yeah, that's what I'm. I didn't think it was sure. Problem with that? No, no. Four set of forms. So, um, if you guys agree with what's out there so far, um, we can move on to your guys' opening statements. David, I know you're bringing the case. Yeah. So, um, I'll let you give your. I actually have one more question about the actual mediation itself. Yeah, can sure. You, can you actually explain the caucus one more time? I don't think I understand what that. So, a caucus is when. Um, I will meet with you guys individually, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if we're at a standstill, if talks aren't progressing, um, I'll take, you know, uh, Kevin outside, and I'll meet with you, and then he won't, back he won't be able to hear anything. He won't hear anything. Um, okay. If it's if you guys want to be confidential, it can be. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be. But, you know, it's kind of just to promote getting the talks going again. Um, you know, if things are moving slow, or, um, you know, we're just trying to... I don't know, move faster throughout the process. All right, sounds good. And sounds good. Yeah, I just want to clarify that. All right, sure thing. Um, so moving on, like I was saying, uh, David, you're bringing the dispute, so we'll start with your opening statement. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, um, you know, Kevin and I both live together um, in a sophomore dorm. We're both sophomores. Um, I prefer to get an appropriate amount of sleep each night. Um, you know, I tend to get my homework done ahead of time so I can, you know, allow... A significant amount of time each night for me to get that a lot of sleep. Um, however, you know, almost nightly, um, I'm woken up by Kevin, uh, most of the time from the lights being turned on or from just, you know, natural sounds of Kevin doing his homework because he does, you know, do his homework late at night. That's just who he is. Um, also, you know, occasionally Kevin comes back, you know, intoxicated. Um, he's loud and obnoxious. Um, I have considered turning him into the RA multiple times for underage drinking. Um, but, you know, I haven't done that yet because, you know, it is college and you want to respect, you know, college life. You know, when you, when you, when you want to have fun, but you also, you know, want to be respectful and that's where we had a dispute. Um, despite my attempts to change Kevin's behavior, you know, he has not shown, you know, he's able to listen to me. Um, for me, you know, if a, solution, if a solution is not reached, you know, I would like, you know, to ask the school for roommate change. Um, you know, other kind of, you know, small things that, you know, have raised conflict between Kevin and I. Um, he has the tendency to take my food, you know, eat, eat it, you know, drink my drinks, um, not clean up after himself. Um, as well as, you know, he got this girlfriend, you know, his girlfriend's constantly, whether, you know, he's FaceTiming her in the middle of the night or, <clears throat> you know, she does go to a school not too far away from here, you know, so she does come visit from time to time and you know, she's always in our room and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't know how I feel about that yet at this point. So, you know, that's, that's about it. All right, so what I'm hearing you say is, um, of course, you live with Kevin. Uh, you like appropriate amounts of sleep um, each night, which at this current state, you're not getting. Um, you're woken up nightly by Kevin, um, whether it's due you know, to the light being on or you know, just kind of the, um, you know, the natural sounds of you know, doing homework, papers rustling, um, maybe music's playing, something like that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes he comes back intoxicated. Um, you have thought about turning him into DRA, but you've not done so at this current state. Correct. Okay. Um, he sometimes steals your food and drinks, which bothers you. Um, and then his girlfriend is over a lot, and sometimes I would say it could be an annoyance for you. Yeah. Um, is there anything I missed? Yeah, I also like uh, cleaning up after himself with, with, with my, uh, my food, the garbage in the room. Alright, so he also doesn't really clean up after yourself. Um, you know, you like to have a clean, tidy room. Yeah. Um, and you don't think he sees it that way. Yeah, my, my parents visit from time to time. And okay, yeah, I like to clean up the room. Okay, alright. Alright. But yeah, other than that, I mean, that's it. Good, sound good? Yeah. Alright, so, um, Kevin, I'll allow you to give your opening statement now. <clears throat> All right. So, as David said, I do stay up late pretty much every night. I like to do my homework late. It's just I can't do my homework during the day. I just don't concentrate very well. It's not, I don't see it as procrastination. It's just like I'm more, I'm more concentrated during the night. I'm able to get it done better. And 
and I'm, it's not affecting my grades. I'm still a good student. I still get A's and B's, and I'm getting my work done even though it's last minute. And I, but on like the weekends or sometimes if I get if I have no homework or I like to have a good time before I start doing my homework, so I'll go out and I'll have a few drinks with my friends. Like I feel like every college student should be free to have fun in college. That's what. I mean, it's not exactly what they're for you there for academics, but it's a part of college. Like, and I don't think we should be denied to have a good time. And I understand David's not a drinker. I have nothing against that, but I just feel like he believes like that because he's not a drinker, that doesn't mean like you're required to be a drinker. So it kind of maybe looks down on you a little. And I'm beginning to worry that he's going to turn me in. So, um, and I don't really, I don't really like, don't think that's. I think it's overreacting because I feel like it's a little unnecessary. And I'm glad we came to this so we can talk it out. And I don't have a problem with him. I I prefer to live with him. He's he's a cool guy. I don't I just I think it would be too much trouble to move out of the room. And I feel like it'd be too much of a hassle for both of us to have to go to the RAs and to the deans and talk about all this and then move out and find a new roommate and have to go through the whole process again of learning who your roommate is. Yeah. All right, so kind of what I'm hearing you say is um, you enjoy, you know, you do your homework better at night, um, you function more um, at night. Um, you get A's and B's, so it's not like your homework is negatively affecting your studies at all. Um, you like to enjoy yourself on the weekend, you know, like a, um, lots of college students do. You don't think you should be punished for that. Um, you understand that David doesn't drink, um, but you fear he might turn you in. And... You would prefer to stay in your current room, um, you know, once we uh, sort this out as, you know, it's a hassle to change rooms, um, time consuming, you know, you have to meet your new roommate, all that stuff. Um, anything else that I missed? Uh, the girlfriend thing you talked about, I mean, that's kind of like the first time I've heard about him being annoyed about it. So I, maybe I'll attempt to find an agreement on that. Okay. So you're saying you haven't really heard, um, no complaints from David about your girlfriend? Yeah, I haven't heard you haven't called me and talked about it, so... Yeah, communication. Yeah, so we can talk about that. I'd be willing to make an agreement on that one because I know if there's some there'd be some that would he brings his girlfriend over, maybe I wouldn't want her there. So that's an example. All right. So um, look at this now. Um, got a lot of stuff up here. Um, is there at this point we'll just kind of set an agenda for what we're going to talk about throughout this process. Um, just look up here, and like I said, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, is there anything that you guys can both agree on that um, we'll talk about? I think we definitely need to talk about, you know, s sleeping, uh, you know, bedtimes type thing. Uh, coming up in the morning. Yeah, respectful, you know. So, what do you mean? Sleep? Um, sleeping patterns. Sleep yeah. patterns, that, okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Just, you know, just anything revolved around affecting sleep. Okay. Also, me coming in late, yeah, or doing homework late. All right. Anyways, uh, uh, definitely, um, I'd say, you know, you know, the clean room stuff. Okay. So tidiness in the room. Yep. Yeah. Well, so we need to talk about. Should talk about. Being annoyed with when I come in intoxicated, or and and also the girlfriend thing. Okay, we'll put that in two separate things. Um, so, so all right. Anything else that we can do to cover? Um, the food, stealing food. The stealing of food, okay. Yeah. Unintentional stealing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just using stealing. Yeah, right. Um, so you think that pretty much covers it all, or is there anything um, else? No, I think that covers all of it. Just the last thing I guess we'll right. talk about is just coming to an agreement. So yeah, settlement options, um, definitely something, of course, we're uh, trying to reach today. So um, put that up there as well.
All right, so now that we've kind of got our agenda set, um, go over it one more time. We're going to talk about, you know, the sleeping patterns of the two, um, the tidiness of the room, um, coming back late, you know, while sometimes intoxicated, um, your girlfriend visiting, uh, stealing, or um, what is thought to be stealing the food, and then our possible settlement options. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Um, looking at this list of six items, um, is there any one that you think really stands out maybe you'd like to talk about first? I mean, for me, I just feel like we just go straight down the line. Yeah, you saw it right now? One through six? Uh, All right. I think that's fine. I don't think any one is more important than the other, per se. All right, so you're saying that none of them really stand out to you as more... Um, yeah. None of them really bother you more than the other, it's just kind of... Yeah, it's just like a collective... Okay. Group. It's kind of an overall bother. Okay. All right, so now... Um, the first thing on our agenda is the sleeping patterns. Um, David, if you kind of want to maybe go into a little more um, detail about, you know, uh, what are the issues, why it bothers you? Um, yeah, so, you know, I usually, you know, like to get sleep. Um, usually, you know, nine hours of sleep a night is my goal. Uh, eight, eight to nine, I guess. Um, I like to try to be in bed by nine or ten o'clock at night, so that way, you know, it gives me time. I have an 8 a.m. in the morning, so, you know, I like Give me time to get up, eat breakfast, you know, shower if I need to, if I hadn't done it the night before, um, stuff like that. And so yeah, that's kind of my sleeping pattern, kind of like what I would like to be able to do, be able to you know, get that, because that, that lets me be more productive in my classes. Um, I feel like with me not getting those hours, my grades are starting, I'm starting to see a decline in my grades, uh, my attention in class. Stuff like that, and like I'm losing participation points because of it. Um, stuff like that. Okay. Um, so you're kind of mentioning that you know you like to get nine hours of sleep per night. Um, you prefer to be in bed by nine to ten o'clock each night. Seven, yeah. um, you have an eight a.m. every day of the week, all five. Um, I actually I have an eight a.m. <coughs> on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. And um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have a seven. Tuesday, Thursday, ten o'clock. Yeah. Okay. And then, so you're kind of fearing that your grades are going to slip. Um, you know, if you lose sleep, um, you know, like you think uh, sleep and academics kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah, so I, I do. I strongly, I'm a strong believer in that. Okay. Um, Kevin, you want to uh, touch on um, the sleeping pattern if you <coughs> excuse me issues. Um, well, as I said, I, I don't go to bed very early, and so very nice, I get to bed by 10. Okay. And uh, David, of course, um, conflicts with that because he likes to get to bed early. I don't have any problem with that. I actually give him respect for that. I respect that he does that because if I could, if I was, if I could, I would go to bed early. I just, my whole life has gone to bed late. Okay. Yeah. So it's not really your nature. Yeah, so. I'm not saying I also had since in college I've been doing so doing homework even later, so it just pushes back my sleep time. Mm -hmm. I get to bed at like four or five in the morning. <coughs> four or five in the morning sometimes. That's you know, yeah, in college you um you have less school so you think you can get by on a little bit less sleep. Um, yeah. you know, you're not in class as long, so you feel that um sleep's not necessarily as important now as it yeah. was back high school, so Yeah, I don't have to be up I don't have to be up for two hours at a time, maybe four hours if I have two Tuesday Thursday classes back to back to back. Okay. Um, I don't want to be up for eight hours straight and take a nap in between classes. That's where I get a lot of I make up my sleep sometimes if I take a nap during the day. Alright. Um what time do you start class in the morning? I have a ten forty on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then I have a two my first class on a Tuesday, Thursday for our two. Alright, so um, you also mentioned, you know, your um, the lights wake you up, um, you know, the natural sounds of um, him doing homework. Yeah, that's why I'm going along with that. I'm really um, a light sleeper. That's just in my nature. Okay. I'm pretty much, I mean, I mean that sucks. It has to be this way, but that's just how it is. I mean, I don't, it has to be, you know, quiet. Any, really, any, any movement, you know, 
opening of the door, flickering of the lights, um, <coughs> you got the screen, <coughs> um, so stuff like that. Really wake me up. Let's see. I'll do this. All right. Flash. Move it over yeah, here. I'm going to go out So in terms of this, um, you know, the sleeping pattern issues, um, are there anything, is there anything that you guys think um, we can do to help solve this problem? I mean, for me, I think, um, you know, there are other alternatives for him to not have to be in the room so late. Okay. So you think, um, you know, there's other places that he can get his homework done, you're saying? Correct. Yeah. We live in Resurrect, so there's, okay. there's tables and chairs that we can, that are on the hallway that I can do my homework out there. Okay, so and leave, let him sleep. Yeah. So potentially, um, <coughs> then also, like when I do come back in, I guess I know it's okay with you. Like when I come in, leave the lights off. Maybe use like my phone flashlight or my phone light to see where I'm going, and try to be as quiet as I can. Yeah, I think that's fine. Not as long as the lights lights are a big thing for me. <coughs> I mean, really, the only thing is with like the doors. You know, they shut automatically, and you, most of the time you just open it and let it shut by itself. That is pretty loud. Oh yeah. That's maybe. <coughs> <coughs> so maybe, you know, shutting it yourself. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of holding it as it latches to make. Yeah. 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 You know, you said you're a light sleeper. Yeah. Um, you know, if you hold it, it might be a little quieter instead of slamming it shut. Yeah. All right, so um, we feel pretty good about that issue right now. I mean, um, anything else you want to add? Not really. I think that sounds a solid starting point. Yeah, we're okay. Good. The whole even if my flash, my light, and my phone is still waking him up, maybe that I could help him get like a mask. Oh, okay. So potential. With, so, so yeah, like an eye, some, some eye yeah. protection. You know, I um, yeah, some people sleep with um, you know, for, like light coming in. You know, that type of thing. Yeah, I mean, that would be. I think that would be worst case scenario if. My Flashlight on my phone is too is still too bright for me. Okay. Is that something you'd be willing to pay for? Or oh, yeah, I'd be willing to help. I've actually looked into those before and that. Okay, you know what they run? Uh, about twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. Okay. Yeah. Um, what are those called? Sleeping the masks. Sleeping masks. Okay. You'd be willing to pay for that. I mean, and that'd be definitely something I'd be willing to try out. <coughs> All right, so um, we've kind of got, um, as far as the sleeping patterns go, um, you know, just potential agreements that we're throwing out there right now. Um, Kevin could do his homework at the tables outside of your room. Um, you know, you said there was a resurrect kind of, you know, along the, I don't know, the outskirts of the room so that, you know, people don't have to be in the room. Um, leave the lights off when you come back in. Uh, close the door softly. And then we mentioned um, the uh, eye, you know, the sleeping masks. Um, that would be a good starting point now. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is self-explanatory, but I might as well mention it, you know, like, you know, turn on the TV and, yeah. I mean, it's fine if you want to watch, you know, Netflix on your laptop with headphones in, but you know, the noise level too has got to stay down. That's <coughs> something that's very reasonable. Because there have been times, you know, where you know, also you know, waking up to the sound of you know whatever you're watching on your phone or your laptop or the TV. Okay. All right. So we're good on number one. You think? Yeah. Uh, right. I think so. All right. So we'll touch on it again later, but we'll move on now to number two. Um, the tidiness of the room. Um, you want to go ahead, David, and kind of what the overall issue is? Yeah, so I mean, um, you know, every now and then I'll come back from a class and, you know, there'll just be, you know, wrappers or food, you know, just laying on the table. And, you know, we have a garbage and recycling bin, and oftentimes, you know, it'll get really full, and, 
you know, Kevin, you know, just won't bother to take it out. Uh, he'll just keep stacking it high, you know, so he just overflows and stuff like that. <coughs> <coughs> um, also, like, you know, laundry. Um, you know, he, he has a laundry basket. He doesn't utilize it. Um, I see laundry on the floor all the time, time to time, and stuff like that. Right. And, you know, and I like to make my bed, but, you know, that's really not a big deal. You don't have to make your bed. Like, you know, that's your you know, personal space. But. Okay, so kind of just the, um, you know, wrappers of food left around. Um, sometimes the trash can overflows, and sometimes laundry laying around. Um, not necessarily in your space, yeah. but, you know, maybe you have friends over, and it's kind of in the way. Yeah. It's yeah. just kind of, you know, it's something you'd rather it be put away. You yeah, know, no one yeah. wants dirty laundry. Yeah, just like, you know, clean it up, you know, just like, you know, the, the microwave and the fridge. <coughs> Make a mess and that kind of stuff. It's just All right. nasty. I like them to you know, contribute to cleaning up. You know, oftentimes I find find myself cleaning the whole most of the weight. Okay. Kevin? No, I see. I see where you're coming from. I, I can definitely say that I have to take out the trash very often, and it's something I would do when I work out. And laundry, the whole laundry thing. Sometimes, like when I go take a nap after class, sometimes just like throw my throw my hoodie on the ground. Change my shorts, throw my sweats on the ground, and try to hopefully remember when I get up. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. And it's just laying there, and I do it later. Um, I don't realize there's that much of a problem because I, in my mind, it was just in my, it was in my space, so I didn't realize it was that big of a problem at first. Mm-hmm. Um, the wrappers, I understand. Like sometimes, like I said, sometimes I just eat it. I'll get it later. I have like that mentality that I'll just get it later. And that's definitely something I can work on. Okay, so coming back to you know our potential agreements. So I mean agreements, you know maybe uh, we just you know alternate taking out the trash. Okay, you agree with that, Kevin? You yeah, know, that sounds good. Um, every couple of days you take it out. The next couple, or you know, next time it's full, he takes it out. It's you know kind of just a I don't know, you know mutually respectable thing to do. Yeah, you just. Yeah. Like, kind of focus, I guess I gotta focus more on throwing things away, whether it's throwing wrappers and food away or putting my laundry in my laundry basket. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, I've never mentioned this to Kevin as part of our communication, but maybe, you know, we take one day, you know, maybe like 30 minutes out of a week to, you know, designate it to clean the room. Okay. You know, and, um, yeah, okay. I don't know. Do you agree with that, Kevin? Yeah, so that's not much time at all. So if we just keep doing that, I feel like our room will be very clean. 30 minutes is not much out of the week. And then I just feel like these are saying like these are just these are habits that I ran into. And like it's not gonna click so Yeah, bad. Exactly. Yeah, they're not, you know, you may have brought them you know, from home if uh, I don't know, your parents cleaned after you a lot, you know, you didn't have to do much um, you know, in relation to cleaning after yourself. You're just kinda yeah. it's just kinda happy lifestyle. So it's just it's gonna take hopefully not too long. We already can see all our nights, but hopefully it'll be super clean. Exactly. Okay. Um so we feel good about that one, you know, right now, looking ahead. Yeah, uh-huh. that's all right. Um we'll move then to number three, which is um in uh Kevin being intoxicated, um coming in late, waking you up. Yeah. So um, you know, it's kinda of similar to number one, except this one, you know, might involve um alcohol or I don't know. Just kind of give, <coughs> give me the rundown there. Yeah, and like, you know, just, um, not even just the fact that he comes late, the fact that he, you know, drinks kind of bothers me. Um, the fact that he stores alcohol in the room, um, it's, you know, if we ever get caught, it's not just on him, you know, it's, it's on the people who live in the room, including myself, uh, even though I don't take part in it, you know, it's in our room. Um, you know, and then, you know, he comes back late, you know, he's loud, obnoxious at times, you know, with his buddies. And you know, I don't really like having that reputation of our room, you know, being in that room. Oh, that's the guy who, you know, plays loud and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so just kind of along those lines and yeah. Alright, so you know, you're saying that you don't like that he stores the alcohol in the room. Um, does he drink with his friends in your room? Uh no, he has not in the room. No, yet. okay. So any of the, the drinking part is taken part or out, out of your room. Yeah, out of our room. Okay. So our room. Your 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 room. Um So in terms of uh, when he wakes you up, do you know what time that usually is? Or yeah, it's usually around 
It's usually consistently around 2 a.m. Okay, and is that kind of just they being clumsy or like, um, like just kind of loud when you're intoxicated? Yeah, those are all like you know slamming the door, but you know that's nothing really you can fix when you're intoxicated. You know, um, slamming the door, you know, like knocking over a chair, you know, just, you know, just, yeah, clumsiness. Clumsiness. Okay. Um, Kevin, you want to touch on this? Um, yeah. something stupid in the room mm. but I, I can which that's why no drinking there you yeah know, I know because I don't want him to I don't want him to like go out to get caught in here and then he has to get in trouble too exactly you don't want to put any, you know, any burden on him so. yeah so I felt like storing it was not a big deal because we never actually would drink in the room if I would go to drink I would take it put it in a backpack and leave and then there was nothing about it okay. I, I feel like storing it is kind of a big deal because there's a possibility less get for you getting caught when you come back late at night you know, noxious, so uh, that's the way I see it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, you guys have any ideas as to what um, we can do about the storing issue? Or is, is that like a set in stone, he can't store it there? Yeah, from I your mean, point of view? Or? I don't think we should have an alcohol in the room. Okay. I, think we, I'm, I think it's fine. Like, what he's saying is fine. I think I, I, can, probably, I can find friends that, that can hold on to my alcohol and can't put it in your room. My, friend, I, my roommate doesn't appreciate it. Like, he, doesn't feel safe with it. But I do, like I said, I do respect him not drinking. I do respect him by not being around and drinking. So if this is bothering him just as much, I'm willing to keep my alcohol somewhere else so he doesn't run the risk of getting caught because of me. So you're saying you would be willing to, you know, try to store your alcohol, um, you know, in one of your friend's room, somewhere, somewhere else that's not in your room, um, to threaten, you know, um, his... Not safety, but you know, risk of getting caught. Yeah. Okay. Um, that works as well as me. Yeah, I like it to be um, out of the room for good. Out of the room for good. Yeah. Okay. Um, good number three. Um, I mean, <clears throat> also, I mean, the whole coming back intoxicated. I mean, I don't, I don't think we kind of agree upon that either. I guess one thing that I could do is uh, if I were like maybe I just pull up our doors, just ask my sibling to come. Um, I mean, I feel like that would be because then I don't come wake you up. Like, if that, then I have no chance of being obnoxious. Okay. Just try to get mad so and go to a different room. So, you're kind of offering that when you drink, not to go back to not sleep in your room. Yeah. Is what you're saying. So um, you know, see if you crash on someone's futon or, you know, when it worst gets near someone's floor, just so that you don't really are on the risk of waking them up and, you know, he get mad, turn you in, that type yeah. of thing. Because I don't, I don't want to get turned into RA, and I feel like if I keep every aspect of drinking, away from him and so now he pretty much hates every aspect of it and then he won't feel obligated to do something about it which is he'll be okay with it yeah i feel like you know she has two options you know sleep somewhere else or you know don't drink drink don't drink at all and so yeah i think i think that's good if you want to drink then let's keep away from the room all right good all right um so yeah we're moving on, moving right along right here um i burn lots of potential settlements um, later when we come back to it but now if you guys are you know comfortable we'll touch on the uh, girlfriend issue yeah. okay um, so David what's your uh, take on the girlfriend yeah so I mean you know girlfriend I mean she's a nice gal you know I get along with her and everything but <clears throat> sometimes it can be a little excessive um, <coughs> like I said I think we kind of covered the whole you know FaceTime her late at night um, yeah, that, I mean, you, you can go out to the lounge and FaceTime her and stuff like that. I think that's a good idea. Um, <coughs> might, not, might not need it, but um, the whole terms of her staying, you know, when she comes, she stays um, more than one night. I don't know if she just, like, skips classes or I don't know what the deal is, but, you know, she's got all the 
you know, all of her stuff packed, you know, she, you know, always asked to borrow one of my towels because Kevin only got one towel. Okay. Um, and then she gets in her own, um, you know, also eats my food, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, it's just, just, you know, little things that add up over time, you know, with her. And like I said, I got nothing against her. It's just, you know, the fact that she's, you know, always over and always, you know, using our space. Um, Kevin, how far away does she go to school? About an hour away. An hour, okay. Uh, when does when does she usually come? Uh, she doesn't have she doesn't have class on Tuesdays, so that's, she'll come like Monday night or okay. Tuesday night, and sometimes like her she'll later class on Wednesdays. So. So she'll typically stay kind of Monday night, Tuesday night, leave sometime during Wednesday. Yeah, and then maybe sometimes on the weekend, but the, like I know these more time about during the week. During the week, so those are more of the weekdays that she comes. And I guess, I guess one thing, like you said, she does use the towel a lot. So yeah. I, I tell her to get a towel, if I get an extra towel, so she can, so she uses mine instead of his. All right, so um, basically she's coming multiple nights a week. Um, you can kind of understand where that get annoying. Um, you know, just, I don't know how big your guys' room is, um, but obviously it's built for two, not three people. Um, I'm assuming, you know, you guys are just, you don't have any other roommates, right? Correct. Okay. Um, so you kind of understand where that's coming from. Is there any way, um, you could limit the number of times she comes, or is that kind of out of the question? No, I can definitely, I can definitely limit it. Um, I'll just, I, one thing, I just make sure I ask them. Is there actually stays for certain amount of nights, like maybe say, no, I, I would rather have her stay for one night this week. Just trying to make sure he's happy with you. I mean, that's fine if I ask you first. I would prefer that she never came during the week. Okay. Um, at all during the week? Yeah, at all during the week. I mean, that's fine. As long as I can't do that, because I mean, he's, I can't really argue against that. She, if he doesn't want her during the week, I know he does have early classes. So. Yeah. Like I said, that's she understandable. Was, like I said, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I got my 8 a.m. Can't be having, you know, you and your girl up at night, you know, watching flicks. You know, but, but no, no weekday vacations. So weekends are fine, as long as I'm not in the room drinking. Um, I mean, yeah, I'd say weekends are fine. You know, I I try to go home as much as possible on the weekends, because of it. Um, which I have no problem doing, I guess. Um, but I mean, maybe not every weekend. You know, I mean, make it reasonable. So I would go asking you when she's in baby. Like, can we go ahead she comes this weekend? Yeah, that'd be great. You know, maybe like, you know, you know, beginning of the week in advance. And instead of, you know, be like, you know, Friday, you know, this has happened before. The Fridays come around, you're like, oh, yeah, she's coming over, you know? Yeah. Like, well, let me know in advance. Okay. How, how long is it? Like, how much time in advance would you? Oh, yeah, just right in the beginning of the week. Okay. You know, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. So, I'll kind of let you know um, ahead of time for the next weekend when uh, your girlfriend will be coming, and then we kind of agreed to um, no girlfriend visits during the week. Is that okay? I think that's, that's okay. Okay. Um, so we're okay on that then, for right now? Yep. <coughs> um, so we'll move on to the last issue, um, the stealing of the food, or accused stealing of the food. Um, David, I know you kind of mentioned this. Um, I don't know. You want to touch on it? Yeah. And so you know, it's kind of <coughs> you know, it's usually a you know weekly occasion. Um, um, David will or Kevin will come back. You know, maybe from a workout or something, and you know, s snag with my waters. You know, use my mio, and you know, mio's not cheap. You know, squeeze that in there, and then only drink about you know three quarters of it and leave it, leave it around, you know, the room and never finish it. Um, <coughs> so that's kind of, you know, the drinking side of things. Um, in terms of food, like, you know, I got a bunch of snacks and, you know, I pay for all the snacks myself, you know, it's kind of, kind of sucks when I have to constantly, you know, you know, re, restock everything. 
uh, sooner than I should have to. Uh, my coach just not paying for it. You know, I don't work that much, so it's, you know, it's kind of hard. But you know, I, I like my snacks. I like, so I'd like to have them last, and so it kind of sucks. You know, <coughs> <coughs> you know, I'm willing to share. You know, from time to time. You know, if you ask, you know, I like to be a good roommate. You know, be be reasonable with it. But you know, when he just you know takes it out of random, it's kind of. Uh, not not settling, you know, and then you know when he doesn't finish things that he does take, it's like you know I just wasted my food. Yeah. Um. So it happens pretty fre- frequently, you'd say weekly. Um. It's a lot of water and snacks. Um. You you do buy the food yourself, which I'm sure is kind of why it bothers you. Um, yeah. You know, it feels more like a waste of money, especially if he's not finishing what he's taking. Um. But you are willing to share, you know, if you talk about it. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe set some standards, something like that. Maybe, okay. I mean, yeah. Maybe, yeah, that's up in the air. Um, Kevin? Well, I mean, I, I have food, I like, as a roommate, I had, like, my last, last year roommate, we shared food pretty much back and forth. We just took each other's food, and I kind of felt like that we could do that too. Like, he could take my food, and I take his food, like, from time to time. Like, just whatever food in the room, we just can have whatever, whatever there. That's, like, my take on it. I don't, I don't know if I really agree with that take, you know. It's, it just doesn't sound. So, Kevin, you're kind of saying that as um, as roommates, you feel like, you know, everything in the room is kind of one. Like, you guys live together, so everything should be kind of both of yours, is what you're saying? Yeah, like, as long as it's, like, even. Like, if we're both supplying food, we can just take each other's food. That's kind of all for one? Yeah. I don't know if I, you know, get a bunch on this, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, what's mine is mine. And, uh, it's not, it's not like, it's not like I use your toothpaste, you know, like, just because it's in the room doesn't mean I use it. It's not like I use your shampoo and conditioner, you know, it's kind of, uh, it's not like I sleep in your bed, you know, just because it's in the room. It's kind of, kind of the same guidelines there. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of my take on it. Um, Kevin, you want to budge, or you think, you just kind of think that if you live together, you know, the food, water, it's kind of a supply of both of you. I kind of, yeah, like, I see what he's coming with a toothpaste and a bed. Like, yeah, I don't expect to, like, share, like, these things that we, that we use every day. But, like, the stuff like food, like, I feel like food and water is something we can, like, it's like both of them. Okay. So, I think we're kind of in a sense on this issue. Um, you know, we've made really good progress. Um, of course, we're almost, you know, to the point where we can start talking about official settlements. But I think right now, um, in returns to the food, um, we'll take a caucus. If that's okay with you guys. Um, I'm going to meet with David first. Uh, Kevin, I'll walk you outside. <coughs> All right, David. So, um, so in terms of the food, you don't appreciate um, him taking your food um, basically under any, any circumstances or yeah pretty much you know, I mean I mean the way I see it you know I mean yeah he does have food in the room but like you know, it's not like I want his food you know I buy the food I want because it's what I want and um, also you know I feel like I do buy a lot more and I don't know for sure but I, I think his parents you know pay for his food and I just, you know, like I said, you know, when I'm paying for it, I want to make sure I'm getting it. And sometimes I feel like he's eating more than my food than I am. Okay. Um, do you think, is there any way that we could kind of, I don't know, meet in the middle somewhere here, or is this kind of set in stone for you? I mean, I feel like maybe, you know, I don't know how he wants to work this out, because I don't know if he pays for his parents do, but, you know, put an equal amount of money in. Every so often, so we both go shopping and pick <coughs> stuff out. Right? Maybe like a yeah, like a I don't know, weekly or bi weekly um, like shopping trip where you guys kind of I don't know, you put an equal amount of money um, head to the store. I mean that's an option, but I don't even know how I feel about that because you know I feel like he eats more often than I do, so okay. I feel like even then it'd be kind of he's getting more out of it than I am. So I don't know, it's kind of hard to. Judge food, you know. Other than what's yeah. mine is mine, what's yours is yours. Okay. 
Um, I don't know if there's any other way. Um, I was wondering where you could um, potentially store it or lock it up where you could move it. I mean, I don't have like a lock or anything. I could put it under my bed, but I don't see if that's going to. I guess maybe you know, having it out in the open, you know, on our dresser with, with his food too, you know, kind of mixed together. Maybe that gives him. <coughs> He's more reasonable. Yeah, you know, it's kind of all mixed in as one. And then if I put it in, maybe try just try separating it, maybe test where that goes. Um, yeah. You know, see if you if you put your food, you know, somewhere like hidden or somewhere where it's clearly not out in the open, you might not take it this frequently. Yeah, I mean, maybe that might work. Um, I mean, I'd rather try that first um, rather than the whole splitting the cost when you're going shopping. Okay. Um, but you know, I'm op- I guess you know I'm open to try it out. I'm open to try out the, you know, me storing it somewhere else, and then you know, if that doesn't work, you know, we try out the other option. Um, All right. Um. Okay. So, feel free to go on that. Do um, you want this to be confidential? Um. I say the part. You know, just not like me saying that his parents paid for it. Maybe. Okay. I don't know if that's a fact. It's just from what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Um, so leave that out. Okay. Everything else you think is okay? Yeah. Talking about with it? Okay. I'll bring it up. Yeah. All right. Um, go ahead. I'm going to go get him. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Out there too. I don't know if you found those. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Very All right. Um. So. I don't know. Um. Now that David's not in here, um, anything you want to say that I don't know? Maybe you didn't want to say in front of him, or um, I don't know your whole your whole stance on this issue. I just feel like I, like I said, my roommate last year, and we were both very easygoing, and it was just we brought food. So I mean. David said he pays for his food, but so did my roommate last year. He's kind of it's kind of the same thing. So I felt like as long as I provided enough food, we felt like we could just share it. Okay. Like it's not that big of a deal. Um, Maybe yeah. if I like buy food that he likes a little more, I don't know if he just doesn't like my food. Yeah. If he doesn't like to take it. So that's why I feel like just taking the food is not that big of a deal because we're roommates. I understand like the whole girlfriend thing. He doesn't want her taking it. Yeah. You just don't see it's a big deal. Really. Yeah, for us too. Um, did your parents pay for your food this year? Yeah. Did you? Okay. So you can kind of see how. Yeah, I see how him paying for food know, is kind he of. He pays for the food, your parents buy it. You know, that might bother him a little bit. You yeah. understand where he's coming from? Yeah. Alright. Um, so is there any way you think you guys maybe, I don't know, work this out a little bit? Um, is it, I know he said that your food's kind of all together, right? It's all, like, up on a dresser. Or yeah. It's all kind of mixed in. Yeah, um, that's why, that's also kind of, like, it's kind of hard, like, oh, I might be taking my food or I'm taking his Yeah, food. that's sometimes not sure. Food, it's, yeah. you know, it's kind of an issue. Um, if he were to, like, separate his food, would you be less, I don't know, um, tempted to take it? Or would that really? I guess. I mean, I, it would help me, like, know for sure that I'm not taking his food. I could focus a little more, I guess, on taking my own food. It would be easier to pick out my food. Okay. Um, I know he said um, he mentioned something about possibly I don't know, putting in even money and then going on like a shopping trip together or doing some I don't know some sort of you know equal shopping trip where you guys kind of buy food and share it or something. I don't know if that be willing to try something like that. Yeah, I feel like that seems like a good idea. Like, we could always, like, go and buy food or drinks that we know we'll both have. And then maybe they he both can, like. And yeah, and then maybe he can spend his money on, like, the stuff that he wants just for himself. Mm-hmm. Kind of separate it, like you brought up. And then I'll, if I want to actually find stuff that I want to separate, I'll, I can ask my parents for that. Like, okay. Um, all right. Uh, do you want this to be confidential, or is it okay to talk about it? it's fine. All right, perfect. Um, I'm going to go grab him. We'll discuss it again further. All right. <coughs> <coughs> 
The restroom out there, dude. Yeah, I'm good. Um, you got, got a little drink out of this cough. Though. Good, fine. Yeah, this cough's going around, isn't it? It's yeah. an issue. <clears throat> All right, so we kind of talked about you know both of ours, um, you know why you guys you know have your views the way you do. Um, Kevin also mentioned you know something that you said um, that your food's kind of all together mixed in. Um, so sometimes you know he might not be aware that he's taking your food. Um, you know, it's all kind of, you know, it, it, he's much more tempted to take it, you know, it's all as one, it kind of just looks like it's just yours to share, right? Yeah. So, um, he didn't mention, you know, maybe if you um, put your food, you know, somewhere by itself, they'd be less tempted, or um, I think that'd be something that you guys both would want to try. Um, we also mentioned, you know, the shopping trip, I don't know, the, the logistics of that would be kind of tough, but, you know, you guys may be potentially... Um, <clears throat> you know, put an equal amount of money in and then go buy food that you know you both like. Um, I don't know, do you not like his food um, that he buys, or is it like... I mean, it's like not that I don't like it, it's just, you know, I have preference. Um, okay, but, but of course, yeah, everyone does. Yeah. I don't know, so... I just like going off that, but like, your idea would be when we go together and buy food that we would both eat, and drinks that we both drink, and then maybe if you want to spend a little extra on stuff that you just want put it off to the side and like say this is the stuff that this is just for me and just like consciously recognize that I shouldn't have that but I can have the stuff that I just put equal money on. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So so I don't know, you know I mean I mean so that kinda you know interchanges both the ideas together. So kind of the shopping trip with I don't know, you both put the same amount of money. Um, you buy food that you know you both like, so that way you know you're kind of, um, I don't know, you can share in that sense. Is there any way to? Yeah, the the thing is, there's you know like the split equally. The amount that you guys eat is that. So do we? Is that say, issue or is that? Let's say we buy a six pack of Gatorade or whatever the eight pack of Gatorade. Do I take the four and put it under my little stash or? Not? Depends on that one. I just have to make sure I don't. Go into yours, and we just make you step like that. So, just kind of be more cognizant of, yeah, you know, focus wine. Make sure you're not taking more than yeah, you know, exactly. what you pay for, type of thing. You know, it's hard, you know, you get a bag of goldfish and you just want to keep eating it. But, yeah. uh, I mean, if it's that much of Oregon, I guess we can, I could dump so many bags and leave, and then I run out of that and run out of that. That's, that's the end of it. So, my shopping trip, we go to the next shopping trip. Yeah. Okay. I so, guess I can so, do that, that side because I'm just I was the one that was stealing food so I could make my fortunes. But so so you're suggesting, you know, we go out, same amount of money, we buy what we both want. Um, anything that you don't want that I want, I pay for separately. And then the stuff that we buy together, we go back and we split it up and store it separately. And, unless it's... If that's... If you feel that... We're not going to split up evenly if we just leave it out. Oh, yeah. I mean, like you said earlier, you know, your habits are your habits, and you, know, you got a pretty big eating habit, so it's kind of, I feel like that's that's the need is to split it up evenly. I feel like I should, I feel like I should be the one doing what you say, like, split this and this, and I'll just, I'll be the one splitting because I'm the one that needs to limit the. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll both sit down and make sure we split it evenly. I know this is a, you know this is kind of a tough issue, um, but we're thinking maybe you know the shopping trip where you, know, you guys pay equal um, and kind of split it up evenly. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. I know you guys. This I don't know this one's tough to really work out. You know you can't just put a number on it, but um, you think we're okay with that right now? I think we can try that for now. Okay. Um, you know, maybe we have a little follow up in a couple months with it. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> um, so, all right, now we've got a big list. We've made a lot of progress. We've got a big list of possible agreements. Um, you guys want to start working towards um, our final agreements? Yeah, um, and I think one more thing, maybe just to, like touch on the agenda <coughs> we did put on there originally, which is, you know, just be our communication. And that's kind of coming from my end. We have been doing a great job of communicating just in the future. Maybe we'll do it. <coughs> 
<coughs> making sure you know we communicate everything if we have problems. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just communication as a whole. Yeah. It's really okay. Between you know, that's important between anyone, but especially someone you're living with. Yeah. Instead of like waiting too long, like bring up that bring up what's bothering. Yeah. So I can fix it there or start that's, working on fixing it yeah, there. Yeah, maybe, you know, if communicate better, remember we had to come to this process originally and then hoping now if communicate better after this. Exactly. Um, you know, never have to do with it again. Yeah. So, good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Helps me to maintain our relationship. Okay. I mean, we like to hang out together, but sometimes living together isn't the best. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, of course, you guys do want to, you know, you don't want to end up having to get new roommates. So, um, I think now we'll move into. So, looking ahead. Um, Sleeping patterns earlier, we mentioned, um, you know, doing homework at um, tables outside when um, he's asleep. Um, you know, it's it's out there for that reason. Um, you cannot, you know, wake him up uh, quite as frequently, and then when you come back in, leave the lights off, um, close the door softly, <coughs> etc. Um, does that any of that sound good right now, or you guys want to kind of summarize it, or what? I feel that's very reasonable. It's a few things I can fix, or little things I can fix. Yeah, I think that stuff is fine. I don't think, like, now we need to do the sleeping mask. I think if, yeah, I agree. If more you. problems occur with the whole, like, the so the sleeping mask kind of a backup issue. Yeah. Um, <clears> and, yeah. That, if, you know, maybe it's, you know, you gotta understand, or, you know, it's, um, when he has to get back to his room, he has to see to get to his bed, and, yeah. you know, you can't control how sensitive a sleep you are, but if, you know, if the smallest amount of light wakes you up, then maybe, Figure out the sleeping mask later yeah. on. So yeah, that's next best alternative. <coughs> and maybe like the first like week or so that I, I come in late doing something, doing homework and try and miss, like I ask him like the next day, like, was that too loud? Like is it still too loud? Like what are like so I can try to improve the things. And so, so back to the communication issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. <coughs> um, So the homework outside the tables, um, what time, so you think it as soon as you lay down, um, if you're doing his homework or hasn't even started yet, I mean, taking stuff out or? I think, um, you know, there's a lot of communication, you know, try to be with it, but I'd say definitely though, anywhere past 10. So anything past 10, um, uh, put his stuff in. Yeah, I think so, I think I'd like to get to bed between 9 and 10. <coughs> I can grab my stuff. I usually lay down, you know, around nine, nine thirty. As long as I'm, you know, sleep by ten. Yeah. So he can grab his stuff, you know, have time to take it out, and then he'll pretty much be out of the room until he's done with his yeah. stuff. And yeah. I'll just be like, I'm laying down. I've got communication, so yeah. I'm laying down. I'm like, laying down. Get ready to go to bed. Yeah. Come on. And like I'll just, you know, I know that'll be the time that I need to pack myself up. I need to do homework. Yeah. I'll take it out. Come, you know, go to the bathroom or go out there. Yeah. That works. <coughs> All right, so we feel pretty good about the sleeping pattern right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, we got, so you'll do the homework outside the tables after 10 o'clock. So, you know, if, <coughs> if maybe, maybe on, let's say, a d- weird night when you're not asleep by 10, um, you know, if you're awake, of course, he can still be in the room, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, but if, so as soon as you lay down, trying to go to bed, you know, he'll be cognizant of that and get his stuff. And yeah, this is usually just like school night requirement. Okay, so just on school night, so weekend. Yeah. Weekends, whatever. I, mean, I don't have any reason to get up in the morning on a weekend. Okay, so we so we're not putting really any, you know, except for the drinking thing, um, issues on the weekends in terms of, you know, being in there. I think the whole drinking thing goes along with it. If I want to get to bed on the weekends, he usually goes out, so he doesn't even be in the room. So I think okay. that's fine. So we feel pretty good on that. Yeah. All right. So, um, the tightness of the room, we mentioned. Um, Alternating taking out the trash um, and then potentially having one day a week, um, maybe 30 minutes where you guys are just focused on cleaning the room. You know, in hopes then, you know, eventually it might just become a habit. Um, and it'll always be clean. <coughs> Does yeah. that sound good? Or, I, I mean, I don't even know if it needs to be alternating. I think it's just, just kind of do it when you recognize it. I mean, don't throw it over the, the trash can. And if you recognize it's getting too full, just take it out. 
Okay. One, one thing, like, it's all, you know, like, that communication, I think, to be like, if I, because at first I'm not going to recognize that, I feel like back to my table, I have a phone, just keep going, maybe be like, hey, Kevin, can you go take out the trash? And, like, try to give me that hand of taking out that one. And then once, hopefully, soon enough, I'll just be like, I'll see it, and take out the trash, I'll match it. So I think, and then, or laundry, like, hey, your stuff's on the floor. And then, oh, sorry, and I'll go pick it up. I mean, that's just for, like, the first little part, just, like, kind of help, yeah. me, help me get, break the habits. Yeah, and after that, it's, you know, you do it when you see it. Yeah. <coughs> All right, um, so moving on um, to the alcohol issue, um, <coughs> you know, we talked about um, storing the alcohol somewhere else in the room, um, willing to sleep somewhere else when you drink. Um, <coughs> anything, you know, anything like that sound appealing or you want to touch on those? Or? I mean, it sounds, it's, I feel like pretty it's straightforward. Really, yeah. Straightforward. So we're going to say no more alcohol stored in the room. And then, um, when you do drink, um, you'll sleep at either a friend's room or, um, you know, I don't know, somewhere else other than your room. Um, so that you don't come back and wake them up. Yeah. So I don't have and of course that's when you say, you know, you said sometimes you're gone on the weekend, so I mean, of course that's not an issue. But um, yeah, and he usually lets me know when he goes. So I mean, exactly, yeah, that's back yeah, to the weekend. Yeah, I'm not here on the weekends. I mean, still I don't want alcohol in the room, mm-hmm. but you're allowed to come back and yeah, drink. I understand that. Like if you want, not drink, but you're allowed to come back intoxicated if you need, you need booze. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, we're just gonna set no alcohol in the room, and then when David is there, um, Kevin will not sleep in that room um, after you've been drinking. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Um, moving on to the girlfriend. Um, we kind of said, you know, you guys touched on maybe no no girlfriend visits during the week. Um, is that something you still think's fair, or do you think there's another way to do it? Maybe every every other week, or how do you? I'm pretty set in stone. It's not allowed during the week. Not on the week, and then free roam on weekends. Weekends okay. with you know, I mean, <coughs> respectful. I mean, and then, you know, it's cool. weekends with notice. With notice. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm fine with that. I mean, I understand that visits during the week can be hard for them to get get to bed early and then it's a light sleeper mm-hmm. and they have to get up for eight a.m. and even ten a.m. Like, I understand that, and then I'm saying like for the visits on the weekend, that's fine. I can always go to hers. I always go to her school. Okay. So if I if I want to see her that weekend too, then she doesn't you know, doesn't wander over that weekend. I do have a question. Are yeah. you opposed to her coming during the day? Um during the weekdays? Like does that bother you or is it just is it just to go sleeping there? Oh uh, yeah, just to stay in the night there. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then so and so as long as you see out of the room by ten? Uh, weekends? Like with her, are you going out of the room by nine, ten times? I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd say that's fair. Um, I'd say that's fair. But yeah, no sleepovers on during the weekdays. Okay. All right. So, um, Sunday through. Thursday night, we'll say, um, she's you know kind of with him. And she'll get out of the room by uh, nine, ten o'clock on weekdays. Mm-hmm. So during the day, of course, you know <coughs> the communication we've talked about. Um, it's okay that she's there you know, during the day. Just the overnight that bothers you. That's fair. Um, and also, I know you said that she that she takes your food. I guess I guess I always said that before about her. You can only have authority. You can only have my food. Yeah. Okay. Let's just make sure she takes my food. And if I go out early. 
It's my fault. Yeah, I'll take two. <coughs> All right, now the last thing, um, the sh stealing of the food and the shopping, I know we kind of touched on a lot, um, and it's kind of hard to put, you know, um, I don't know, a number on it, but is there anything, you know, we mentioned maybe the shopping trip or, um, I don't know, splitting up your food more, um, I don't know, obviously, so that Kevin's not tempted to take it, is there anything you think we can set in stone with that? I think we can try the separate, I feel like we should try before we do the shopping trip, maybe just try separating food, see if, if that's a thing, you're still paying for your food, mm -hmm. and you don't have to change in your habits, but now <coughs> you're paying for my food, and just separate it, and then if that works, then we're all going to be like, no, we're fine. And then that would be limit all the hassle, trying to set yeah. up the food, trying to come up with a shopping trip, and, so, and I feel like shopping trip could be like a, that could come. Yeah, that's it, yeah, just uh, separating all our food. So, starting, you know, tomorrow, whenever you guys go back, um, just separate the food in the room, um, see how that goes, and then eventually, um, you know, I'll check in on you guys and potentially um, work, I don't know, something more, I don't know, um, creative to potentially solve that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so at the end, I think I'm just going to put, you know, talk about the whole time, just the communication, just as a whole. So it'd be face to face, text message, stuff like that. Um, yeah, of course. That's just you know, I think that's kind of your guys' biggest problem from the get go is just communicating. <coughs> so I think with a little you know, with new communication, um, you know, you guys will be living together just fine. Um, so we got a bunch of agreements up here. A bunch of agreements up here. Um, We've got after nine or after about nine to ten o'clock, um, Kevin will do his homework outside of the tables, um, and when he comes back, he will not turn the lights on, and he will close the door softly behind him. Um, you guys will kind of take out the trash when you see it's full. Um, you know we're not gonna set like a whose responsibility is it, but eventually, you know Kevin mentioned he didn't have the um, the habit of doing it, and eventually he'll get in that habit, and it's kind of just you know it's a Respectful thing, but whenever you guys see it, you'll do it. Um, we decided that no alcohol will be in the room at all, um, under really any circumstances. Um, even when you're gone, we still would prefer not to have alcohol in the room. Um, <clears throat> when David is there, uh, Kevin will not sleep in the room when drinking. Um, so, you know, he'll crash your friends. Um, I don't know, that's pretty much the only option he has right now. Um, in terms of where else you can sleep, but you know, you go drinking with your friends, you got lots of options. Um, should have lots of futons or you know, maybe a spare bed that you guys can you can use. Um, however, when you're gone for the weekends, you know, of course, the rooms you can go back there and sleep, but you still prefer not to drink there. And then, uh, we decided the girlfriend will be able to visit during the weeks, however, um, she must be out by nine or ten when you go to bed. So she won't be spending the night during the week. However, the weekends, you know, with the communication, um, it's still okay. Um, and she will not eat any of your food. Um, you know, you mentioned there's a problem. She will stick only to Kevin's food. Um, that's pretty set in stone. And then you guys are going to attempt to separate the food in your room, um, see how that goes. Um, you know, if it's an issue, um, you eventually move on to something more um, creative but for now, we'll see how that goes, just separate the food, and then the whole just communication um, can solve pretty much everything. Um, so as far as that goes, those are the agreements we have set in stone. Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah. Thank you all. All right. Um, you guys want to go ahead and shake hands? Um, Appreciate it. Thank you. Look forward to working with you. I'm going to shake hands. I'm going to see each, each other later tonight. Um, thank you guys for being here. Yeah. Um, I'll keep in touch with you guys. Uh, you know, check in a month or two, see how things are going. Um, if you got any more issues. Um, thank you. Thank you guys. I'll score you out. Thank you.